Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let go. Inconsiderate? Let go. We good. We good. Fail. R A Q. Been a couple years since a nigga got put on. Point Truck Concepts with your main man, LoShawn Parks. You guys already know, aka kind of a big deal, also known as Internet Problem, aka uh, YouTube Sensation. I want to uh, welcome you guys that are new here to my channel. Thank you for subscribing or being here. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you guys are here rocking out with me, and I do appreciate that. So, let me take this headgear off real quick because I'm in my truck, so I'm waiting on my turn to go here at uh at dow in new jersey um so something that i want to talk about is uh today today's video is me and a buddy of mine we was at the uh ta in uh paulsboro new jersey last night all right paulsboro new jersey me and a buddy of mine named robert uh what's going on robert shout out to you but uh, something that we've seen, and this is happening at a lot, just not just not this truck stop, but at a lot of truck stops, okay? And it's it's very uh, inconsiderate, what I would what what I'm going to call it, okay? This is just to be on the nice side of it. It's very inconsiderate um, what what's going on, and the issue that we have at hand, where the inconsiderate uh, drivers are being inconsiderate, is. We have drivers who have full loads, okay? They come in with trailers and stuff like that. And we're looking for parking. It's already hard enough for us to find parking when we're up here in the Northeast as is, okay? So when we pull into one of these TAs and these Flying J's, Petro's, uh, what have you, okay, truck stop areas. And we're looking for parking and something that just gets under my damn skin so bad, it, it burns me up. Is when I see a bobtail sitting in a full-size parking spot that's designed for truckers and trucks that have a full trailer and tractor. It, I mean, it, I mean, this eats me up alive because you are being so inconsiderate to your fellow drivers or to your fellow to your fellow coworkers or what have you. All of us are supposed to be, you know, working as one. We're in one uh, karatami. I might be saying that word incorrectly, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. We're all in this together. And it burns me up when you see a bobtail sitting, taking up a full damn spot for a truck with a, that, that, for a truck and trailer. Eats me up every time. It, I, it makes me want to just go bang on their door, wake their asses up, and tell them, can you be a little bit more considerate and move this to the front of the TA, to the front of the Petro? Can you go park somewhere in, in a more smaller area? Instead of taking up a whole spot for a truck and trailer, you want to be inconsiderate, inconsiderate, I'm going to call it like, be an inconsiderate ass because that's what they're doing, okay? You're being an inconsiderate ass and you're taking up a spot for a truck and trailer instead of taking your ass and you could basically when you bobtail for those that don't know basically when you bobtail you're basically a car okay for the, you're just a large car okay you can take your ass and go park in a parking spot the same spot a car can maybe take up two car spots and leave this open for your fellow truck drivers that's been driving all day they have loads they we can't cuz like when we have these trailers we just can't park in and be anywhere those bobtails you guys can be fucking anywhere okay you can park that anywhere and when we pull in these truck stops and you go and then the, the, the driver, we think that we got a spot open. We see one open. And what do we see? A fucking bobtail sitting right in there. Taking up the spot. It's so inconsiderate. Okay. And it eats me up. It, 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 it burns my, it, it burns me up, man. Because it, you won't just see like one bobtail that's doing this. You go down the line and it is multiple bobtails just taking up spots, taking up slots. 
like being so inconsiderate, man. It, it it's ridiculous. All right, so I'm saying this to, to to let newbies know that's coming in, or even for the veteran guys out here that 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 tune into my channel or that watch my channel. Stop being inconsiderate. All right, be considerate for the guys who have loads. They've been driving 600 miles a, a, that day, and they need somewhere to to, 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 to to rest, okay? We can't fit everywhere. A bobtail, you can fit any damn where. Go find somewhere else, all right? Not saying that you're not a truck driver because you're still part of us, you know what I mean? But be considerate towards the guys who have trailers, okay? Don't park where the trailers park. Go park where you see like the FedEx, the, the little small FedEx trucks and the, the Panther trucks. Go park over there. And if you can't find nothing over there, then go park in the front of the TA or the Petro. Ain't a parking spot. Be more considerate. Like that, it, like I said, I, I can't stress it. That shit eats me up, man. You got so inconsiderate. And then they'll sit there. And, and, and the thing that, that, that's bad about it too is if you're going to do that, at least go in the back of the damn lot. Like, way, 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 way in the back. But they want to park all of them shits up close in the front of a TA. In the front of the uh, 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 truck stops. Why? It's, it's inconsiderate. And I can't beat this horse to death because you will see it in every single truck stop. Every single truck stop. There's going to be a bobtail. It's going to take up a whole spot for a trailer. And then you leave it where us that have trailers have to continue to search. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start knocking. I'm going to start waking those drivers up. So, yeah, you heard it from me here first. I'm going to start knocking on those doors. And it needs to be some type of consideration, man. You got trailer guys with trailers just circling, circling a lot. They have nowhere to go. But then you got five bobtails. And then I'm going to tell you what. If you bobtails want to take up a spot, why don't all five of y'all just take up one spot together and just cram y'all cells one behind each other? That's what y'all do. Okay? That should be enough. Or maybe if y'all want to take up spots, double up in that spot. Put two of y'all. But then that's even justifying. At the end of the day, if you bobtailing, just don't park. Where, where, where the trucks go for the trailers. Just go park where a car can fit or go squeeze in like a little a little area where a trailer can't go. Be considerate towards your drivers, man. Be considerate. Be considerate. Especially with all of these truck stops now, they're starting to do the, uh, the pay for parking, <laughs> which Flying J is doing that now and Pilot and, you know, they, they, they doing that from off of what the TA is doing. So I guess they're like, hmm, these guys are making money. These guys are actually paying for spots. Let us do it too. So now it's making it even harder for us to find spots to fit in where we don't have to pay. You know what I mean? So that's just going to be my word for the day on that. Videos coming out, coming soon. Give you guys an update. Videos that's coming soon. Uh... I got the video with Trucker Brown, um, basically Trucker Brown hot seat that'll be out uh, coming soon. I got uh, the video with myself where it is uh, who am I, LaShawn Parks. I'm gonna put that video out, basically giving all the information about myself um, in my 34 years of living on the earth. I'm gonna get, give, let you guys know uh, about LaShawn, who am I, LaShawn Parks. Um, and then I'm gonna finish my series out with the, uh, um, what is it? understanding leasing. So those videos are to come. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff in store. And then um, along the way talking about other things. I also got uh, another video that I got coming out. A lot of people have been asking me about is they wanna see the um, flatbed load securement equipment. So I'm gonna do a video on uh, the load securement equipment. So, uh, and the video on Saturday is going to be Trucker Brown's hot seat. So you guys stay tuned for that one on Saturday. I'll be dropping the Trucker Brown hot seat. If you guys don't know, Trucker Brown is at Prime now. I got him. I got him to come on over to Prime. Um, so we're going to work out some good things for him, and um, we're going to get him back on track and get his spirits back up. Uh, so there you go. Y'all drop. Stop being inconsiderate, man. If you're in Bob Tales, man. 
start parking where the car is parked, man. Be considerate for these drivers out here or for us drivers who have trailers and we're looking for a spot. I'm telling I'm going to start knocking on doors, man, saying, man, can you be a little bit more considerate? Like, because go park in the front. Like, because it, it don't make sense. If you don't have a trailer, don't park where the trailers park, where the trucks park in the, in the truck stops for, for, for us that's carrying trailers. It's, it's so inconsiderate of you. You know what I mean? So inconsiderate. It's just like somebody taking a 30-minute break in the fuel island. Stop that, too. That's stupid. You're going to take your 30-minute break in the fuel island and jam up the fuel island, log up, clog up somebody else's spot, and then you, you, I see you right in front of me. You're sitting there eating your damn McDonald's, chewing down, golfing down a damn hot dog, and you're just going to sit there and continue drinking your drink, waiting for your clock to come back and say 30 minutes so you can drive. But yet, I'm not on the 30 minute. I just stopped here because I need feel I need to keep it moving. But you're going to clog up my clock because I need to wait for your 30 minutes. Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. We've got to stop being inconsiderate as drivers, man. We do. Cutting each other off on the highway. Get yourself some distance, man, before you jump in front of somebody. Okay? Some of these truck drivers, some of us truck drivers act just like damn four-wheelers, man. Another, oh, another thing, before we get ready to end this, another thing that burns me up. Another thing that burns me up with truck drivers is this if you see a prime truck or any of these major companies that is trying to make a pass on you just anybody in general period okay if somebody's trying to make a, a truck trying to make a pass on another truck in the left lane will the right lane driver please turn off your damn cruise control turn off your cruise control Stop riding down and then see the thing is this if you're checking your mirrors like you're supposed to be doing okay because you should be checking your mirrors like like every so often, every minute to two minutes, okay? You should be checking when you're going down the highway. If you see that that driver is trying to pass you, let off the cruise control. Let him get in front of you, okay? Then let him get a little distance. Put your cruise back on to where you want to go. This is not Daytona, all right? That's how so many of the accidents and the side swipes and collisions happen with trucks is, where, is these drivers want to race, okay? And my thing is this. You can't race with a prime truck, all right? Prime is governed at 65, okay? They can't go no faster than that, okay? So then you're going to get the guys who's going to get on the CB. Come on, Prime, step it up. We can't step it up, all right? We're, uh, for, for the lease trucks, we're 65. For the, for the company trucks, 62, all right? So it would behoove you if you're in the right-hand lane and the Prime truck is passing you because you're going so slow, and all of a sudden when the Prime truck gets up to you, you realize, oh, damn, it's a Prime truck trying to pass me. I can't, I can't get embarrassed like that. Either one... Speed up and let the prime truck get the hell back over. Or either two, slow up, get off that cruise control, let them get in front of you, and you fall back. That eats me up. Eats me up. It's so, you, I mean, we're sitting here and we're trying to pass you and you're doing 64 and I'm doing 65. It's going to be three or four miles before I finally get past you. Okay? Or, I, I mean, I just have, I don't, I don't race with people. If I see somebody over there and they're doing 66 Swift or whoever, uh, uh, night, uh, uh, whoever, if I'm doing 65 and they're coming up and they're doing 66 and they're going to pass me, I'm going to cut them off the cruise. I'm going to fall back. I'm going to let them get past me and get over. You know what I mean? So then we don't have this big ass convoy on the highway, guys. Come on. Like it's too much ego stroking and oh, prime's passing me. So I got to race with, no, our trucks can only do 65, man. Governed. Okay. Understand this. A lot of these major company trucks, they're governed. So don't race with them. Just let off the cruise control and let them pass you. Or either you speed up and, and, and let him pass and you pass him so he can get back over. We don't get in that left lane to to want to pull up beside you and say, ha ha, look, it's prime. Let's let's Daytona. No, 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 no. That 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 irks the shit out of me. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make a pass and then I got another truck that wants to, now he wants to start doing 65. Now we're like this, going down the interstate, side by fucking side, for, for nine, ten miles. It's, it's ignorant. And then, oh, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here hoping that I catch a mountain or a little hill because I'm a little bit heavier than him, so now I can just coast past him at the, at the mountain or the hill. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. So, if y'all watch my videos, man, and y'all are some of those, I'm going to call y'all highway bullies, okay? Y'all are highway bullies. Let off the cruise control. Let that truck get in front of you. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. <laughs> yeah, I've never been good with that word. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Work together out here. 
and we won't have so much angry truckers, so much accidents, stuff like that, man. All right, let's try to work on that. All right, with that being said, man, y'all know I'm vape out of here. Yep, that's what I do, enjoying life. All right, man, give y'all an update on all the videos, man, that's coming out, and that's just what it is, man. So, y'all be safe, man, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do, like run illegal. <laughs> deuce, deuce, man. Catch y'all later. Be safe. Peace out. You do what you want with